If you've learned anything about physical training and biomechanics, then you will know that all the muscles at the back of the body are for go, and all the muscles at the front of the body are for show. No, I'm kind of kidding. Not Well, I'm kidding about half of it. It's a bit of a simplification, but most of the muscles at the back of the body are for go. The front muscles, the way I see it, is more for stability, control, braking system, just keeping everything in check as the back does its thing. The front kind of helps guide and control it. So one exercise I'm gonna give you today that I think everyone watching this video should give a go and find out it's a litmus test for how healthy and capable your knees are. And it's also a cure and a remedy to strengthen and give us much healthier knees. But all you need to do this exercise is some type of step. I'm gonna use a yoga block. It's not even that high, maybe four to six inches. You could use a, some, a set of stairs at home, a step up at the gym, and then you're also gonna need the second thing only is something to support your body weight with to regress it down. It could be a dip bar at the gym, it could be banisters on the stairs. I think every home gym should have a set of broomstick handles. No, four candles. <laughs> handles for forks. To use as these nice regression tools. So, I'm gonna step over here and get started. So, you should be stood on your blocks, on your step, on your stairs with the banister maybe to support you with your sticks, dip bar, whatever you've got. And we're gonna have a weight on one leg with the foot pointing straight forward. And we're gonna lightly bend the knee. Then, this is very important, you're gonna scoop the hips under. So lightly squeeze the glute or just tuck your tailbone, whatever cue works for you. And then you're gonna go from here like you're gonna step down, but you're not just gonna fold at the hip to reach the floor. You're gonna shift your weight forwards from the hips so that center of mass moves forward as though we're frozen, as though we're in motion. Because you don't walk down the stairs like that. You walk down with some momentum. So we're gonna slow that down. And using your support, you're just gonna explore here. And the knee should be over the second toe. So to begin with, we're just gonna go very straight. Foot straight, knee straight hip above the heel so I'm not like collapsing in or going out this way. Some people might wanna do that. Try and get everything in one line. Shift forward. Again, a bit of a simplification, but it's more of a break for you and it doesn't get to work if we're folding at the hips. It's kind of like, think of the fascial slings in the body going up the quad into the core, into the stomach. When we fold at the hips, it's like folding a hose pipe. We lose that connection and it no longer does its job. And then we're reliant on the back of the body to do kind of the wrong job that for, for the task. We wanna keep the weight through the front of the body, like we're walking with control and grace, but without weight on the bottom foot. Now, what we're doing here, you might feel your leg, it might be your thigh or your calf, start to want to shake or vibrate here. That is what we're after. We're after this feeling of almost fragility in the body, like, ooh, I don't feel very strong there. My body's kind of, shaking like it's unstable the muscle doesn't know what to do there now i want to make sure you're not folding at the hip but you might find that in yourself that there is one leg that gives you more jip than the other now once you've explored neutral there are two other positions i want you to explore outside so my foot's still straight but my knee kind of goes out still keeping my hip tucked and there's some shakes there for me i can feel that and then there's inside as well so I want you to explore all three ranges of both thighs. Now in each position, as I mentioned, you might find, and that's what we're searching for, a place where the body either starts to lock up or it feels fragile or, or kind of scared. And that's where we use the regression done right with the banisters, whatever you've got. And just allow it to hang out and cook in that position. And that is the big difference here. We're not counting out reps. We're in the body tuning in and listening. When we count out reps, 20 reps, 25 reps, we're so focused on a number in a head, we're not, uh, there's not much space for us to feel into the body as we go. The body doesn't know reps. Nature doesn't count numbers, right? We wanna be in feeling while it cooks and then the tremors might subside. It might take one to two minutes, maybe up to three minutes as we explore. You want to be in the position, allowing it to cook, and then the tremors might start to subside, or the body just says, 
you know, I'm done. We don't want to overtax it. Let's have a rest, move on to the other leg, and then that's it, you're done for one day. Now, progress with this. I know I'm progressing because I come back to the same position two days later, and it's nowhere near as less stable. It doesn't feel as fragile. It doesn't feel like it shakes as much as it did. Over three to five sessions, you might be able to clear out, and it's almost like you're ironing inside the body. All of these wrinkles that were there, these instabilities are getting ironed out. Now, when we iron, you don't just iron all the bits that are already flat. If it's already ironed, you don't need to iron there. You iron where the wrinkles are. So we, we hang out where the tremors are. That's where we want to iron. Now, another way to look at it that I actually think has way more truth than the West actually acknowledges right now is that's through the Eastern eyes of the meridian system and that the energy, the chi is flowing. And when, it, when we're getting that vibration happening, that's the energy butting up against the block over and over again to, to kind of bore a hole through the block in the meridian system, in the energy line. That's another way of looking at it. You could look at it, muscle getting stronger, fascia, you know, rewiring, whatever it is, there's many ways to think about it. Ultimately, none of it matters as much as what's actually happening in your body. You should feel a nice, nourishing blood flow, which again, maybe points to the meridian system because blood can only flow where chi flows first. So either way, you should feel a nice, nourishing blood flow. My, my legs feel really nice and nourished. I can feel the blood flowing down beyond my thigh as well into my lower extremities. Again, if there's instabilities in the body and we're doing sets and reps, our bodies often can use momentum to bypass the weak spots. When we go slow and we use support, we want to find the weak spots and spend time in them, nurture those areas. And then if you want to go and load it, then you can start to do sets and reps once you've already built a stable foundation. But if you've not got a stable foundation and you start loading it and counting out numbers, that's when problems start to happen. So this is like foundation 101 for the body. Exploring, being a little explorer within your own body, going to the Arctic, to no man's land, places you haven't been before, coloring in, you're coloring in these angles. Thanks for your time in watching, and I'm gonna do more exercises like this, I think, because if I really think about what's the best value I can offer you guys on this channel for free, this stuff is, I think, gold, really, honestly. And so I've got other exercises similar to this. We've just done one for the front, for the braking system, for the control. I've got one for the go that maybe I'll hit you with next. Uh, so stay tuned for that video. A little more from me directly than I think the best place is to check out the School of Biomechanics where there's a whole module on this type of training called the Feather Barrier. I'll leave a link to that down below. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video where we share more of similar stuff. Godspeed.